The speed of light is 300 million meters per second. The sun is approximately 2.3 times 10 to the 11th meters from Mars. How many seconds does it take for light from the sun to reach Mars? Now, essentially what we have here is we have a division problem. What, and the reason for that is, well, first of all, let's go ahead and convert 300 million to scientific notation so it's easier to see. In order to convert to scientific notation, I can only have one digit before the decimal point. As of now, my decimal point would be at the end of the number, so I need to count over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have a three before times ten to the eighth meters per second. That is the speed of light. Really fast if you think about it. Now if we think about it, every second this is how much light moves. 3, point, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters. So the question however is how long in how many seconds will it take light from the Sun to reach Mars? Well it also gives us the information that Mars is 2.3 times 10 to the 11th meters away. So what we need to do is take that distance and divide it by the speed of light, which was 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we'll see several things will cancel out here. First of all, meters and meters cancel out, leaving us with only seconds, which is what we want in our answer. We were looking for how long it will take. Next I have 2.3 divided by 3. Notice how I'm going to separate these out. First I'll solve 2.3 divided by 3 and when I do that I'll get a total of 0 0.7666 so 767. Next what I need to do is I need to figure out the difference between it looks like I have 10 to the 11 and if you remember when we have a fraction like this, we subtract the bottom exponent from the numerator's exponent. So we have 0 0.767 times 10 to the third. But if you remember, we need to have a digit before the decimal point. Right now we have 0. That has no value. So actually, I'm going to move the work over here. 0 0.767 times 10 to the third we need to move that over 1. And since we're making our number larger, we actually need to bring the exponent down one place as well. So, our new decimal point goes 7.67 times 10 to the second. Now, none of our answer choices are in scientific notation, so we're just going to find its total value. When I move, I have 2 here, I'll move it once, twice, I could see that I get an answer of 767 seconds, which is D.